welcome to this week's Monday Minutes. My name is Kelly. And my name is Jesse, and we have a wonderful guest with us this week. Hello, Andrew. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. This week, we are going to talk to you about a cron job that will affect some of your lost status values. So, Kelly, Andrew, give us a quick update about what we're going to see in, in this next 2005 upgrade. Yeah, so this is a change to the existing long overdue cron job. It's adding a, a new optional parameter to tell long overdue to skip any, any given lost value. Normally long overdue runs and it looks at everything that's checked out. And if it is so long overdue, it marks it as lost, whichever lost status you tell it to set things to. But sometimes we have things that are already marked as lost, still considered checked out to the patron, and we don't want them to go to a new lost value. So this lets us tell that long overdue process, if my item is checked out with lost value of this, of whatever, skip it. Just don't think about it for long overdue. This came up for 2005 because in 1911, we added claims returned. And claims returned is secretly a variety of lost. You don't really interact with it the, way, the same way you do other lost values, but it is it's a type of lost. So if something gets set to claims returned, we're still kind of considering it checked out to the patron mm -hmm. and it's gonna keep getting overdue because you're looking for it in the library, they're looking for it at home. And we don't want it to then flop over to long overdue and, and bill the patron because the patron already told us they returned it. So we're giving them that, that grace period. We're going to tell the long overdue, overdue cron job to just ignore claims returned items. Okay, so let's share our screen and give you some visual looks at what our lost values are, just so we remember. Um, we do a little reminder, but good news, good news is we will be able to share with you in our blog post, we've talked about the lost values Jesse and I have. We've talked about that claims return process. And we've talked about um, keeping items on patrons account when you mark something lost, which is the system preference mark lost items as returned. So we have lots of resources to share with you if this is relatively new, but we want to tell you that you have the new power to change your long overdue cron. Okay, so we'll head over to administration under authorized values. And as Andrew said, Claims returned is sneakily under lost. So if we look at our lost values and you mark something claimed returned and it stays on the patron's account, it could potentially roll over to the lost status of long overdue lost using your long overdue cron and being billed when you might not want that process to be happening for this specific lost value of claimed. And bear in mind while we're here that remember your, your lost values are always using those numeric codes. So this is giving us some, some translation of those codes, but really from here on, we're going to be dealing with them in terms of numbers, mostly twos and fives. Twos and fives, exactly. Okay. So oh, let's go to the, um, the system preference that you may have already set up in your system, which is what the cron is looking at, if you do in fact have this long overdue cron turned on, by default, we are setting a loss value of two, as Andrew said, that's the number we should remember two, which is long overdue lost, when an item has been overdue for more than 60 days. That is counting something that is marked claimed. So with this new change to the, the cron job, a new system preference has been added and that is called default long overdue skip lost statuses. So this is where you can tell Koha which lost values you would like the cron to not touch during the long overdue process. Ooh, we're skipping a lot. So we're skipping lost. Missing. Missing. Yeah, we've said don't 
don't run the long overdue cron job on anything that already has any lost value other than long overdue. Okay. Which, Which probably... Most library... Oh, go ahead, Andrew. Which a lot of libraries won't need to specify all of those. Probably claims returned is the one that's going to be most common. Mm -hmm. So if you are in that scenario or like, wow, I definitely don't want my claimed items that are sitting on my patron's account to go through the long overdue process, you're just going to throw a five, if that's what your claimed return value is in authorized values under lost, and then COHA will start skipping anything that is marked claimed in the long overdue process. I did write a recent blog post about these long overdue settings, talking about some sites, you're going to see values in these settings that define what your long overdue process does. On some other sites, there won't be any values here. Sometimes those are defined in your cron file directly. That's mostly going to be either folks who've been on Koha for a long time, like uh, I think the change was maybe like eight years ago. It was a while. So if you've been on Koha a long time, these system preferences might be blank. Or if you're doing something particularly complicated with long overdue, if you're making your long overdue behavior differ by patron category or item type. In either of those cases, we might have set this all up directly in the cron file, which means any change to it would, take, would require a ticket, but just let us know and we're happy to change those. Just as we can enter values here to be skipped, we can enter values in the cron file itself to be skipped. Yeah, and for anybody who has blank values and is not aware of what they have at all, please let us know because this is something that we would love to have filled out in your Koha staff client as much as possible so the knowledge is, is with the library as well, what is actually happening through that long overdue cron. This is a change coming to Koha 2005. So as we are upgrading partners this month, yay, um, you will start to see this and you will have that new system preference as an option. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you, Andrew, for joining us this week. Oh, thanks for having me. Have a great week. Have a great week. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.